Okay, today's route is Route 14 out of the Derbyshire and the Peak District book. It's Darley Bridge and it's around 18 miles. Right, I'd say we just started. I've just passed the Square and Compass pub. I'm, uh, I think I'm heading over the river at the minute. Lovely view that is. Right, I've just split off to the left. I'm heading towards Enthaven, I think it's pronounced. Right, I've just uh, on Clough Lane, but I'm heading into Clough Woods now. This is a uh, pretty steep this hill. Bit rough as well. It's a, a fair old climb. This is into the woods. I'm two miles in at this point and I'm still on Clough Lane, it's quite long and uh, uphill this, so, although I think on the way back, the section I'm on now, I'm actually coming back down this bit. I think this is, uh, well, I think it was Upper Town Farm, whether it still is or not. Yeah, I think it will be looking at it. I'm on Birchover Edge now, which is a uh, Pretty severe downhill looking at it. I don't go too fast because I can't, can't really see a deal. Right, I've just branched left at this point. I'm now. Uh, We'll take a right turn at this point. Not sure where it's taking me, but that's where I'm going. Right, I'm just passing Windsor Cemetery, which is to the right of us. This is a, a rocky uphill path now that I'm going. Right, we're heading towards West Hills Farm now. Now going down Islington Lane. going to uh, branch off left when I come to the road onto 
Chad were killed. just passed through the village of Alton I'm just going to take a left turn now onto Wood Lane I think it is past the Duke of York pub Moor Lane sorry not Wood Lane <coughs> oh, this road uh, I'm on now is well fast can't go any faster because my paddles won't go around quick enough anything when you have a few downhills you know you've got some uphills on the way just going to branch off at this point onto edge lane it's called Although I've not done this route before, I'm not sure whether I've been down this lane on another route, but I guess these gravelly tarp routes all look the same, I suppose, so maybe not. Right, this bit of single track I'm on now, I've, I've definitely been this route before on a different route. I don't know whether it can, it's probably far in the distance really, but I think we're going to be riding through a bit of a valley in a minute which is quite pleasant actually just for note if you're running on the sat nav on this route you won't get a signal down here if you get to this point on the ride you're turning left here you can actually go straight on I've been that way before but it's not the way to go there was a a load of bulls in a field when I went up that way one time lovely view down here done quite a few routes around this area to the left of me there I've done a route which goes along there and then comes back on itself down this way If you get to this point you're not going up the hill to the right you're going through this gate on the left and then up that path there if you're on a non-e-bike at this point you've got a long steep cl climb in front of you When you reach the top of the climb you just need to go through this gate that's behind me and then just carry on with the wall to the right of you blowy around this section I'm sure we'll uh, be able to pick it up on the GoPro a bit boggy around here need to be careful of cattle in here in the summer
Right, I'm heading towards Wedding Lane now. Normally, when I've done my routes, I'd normally head up by the telephone box there, so I've not been this way before that I'm on now. I'm not laying myself now, it's that windy. I'm just entering your grave at the minute. If the wind wasn't against me, it'd be quite a fast downhill. That looks quite a nice place, farm yard in. on Church Street at the minute. Another area I've been down before which I didn't realise I've obviously done this on a different ride as well. Now if you're brave you could ride through that but I'm not, I'm going to walk over the bridge. I don't like going all shitted up anyway. I'm just going to branch off to the left here. I've been down this way before as well, this is uh, quite nice down here. I have been up this stretch on a different route. Not sure what this is growing in the field, but I know when I came through this field last summer, I think it was, it was waist high, so might look a lot different depending on what time of year you do it. Just going straight over at this point onto the into the next field. This field is normally a lot of cattle in, in the summer. You're adding for this big tree with a gate if you manage to get this far. We've got 3.87 mile left now, so quite rocky this bit. into Birchover now. I've only got about three mile left on this route. Got a nice downhill now out to the woods because it's pretty steep this is when I was coming up it. Definitely a bit choppy down here. It was 18.2 miles, 
took me an hour, just an hour 31 2000 just over 2000 foot of elevation the route was good the only thing f for me there was quite a lot of uh, riding on the road not busy roads like country roads I didn't pass any cars or anything there's some quite fast road sections actually for people that like blasting down the road anyway enjoyed it so on that note I shall wrap the video up